Hello everyone! Today, we have the best laptop for AutoCAD, the Dell XPS 159530. Without further ado, let's take a closer look at what's under the hood of this laptop. It's powered by an Intel Core i7-13700H processor, and it's also equipped with the Intel Arc A370M GPU, which despite the controversies about its gaming performance, is actually still quite good for AutoCAD. The laptop comes with 16 gigs of RAM and a one terabyte SSD. But if that's not enough, you can upgrade the RAM to up to 64 gigs. As for the storage, there's a second SSD slot for you to use. But whether you upgrade it or not, this laptop can handle your AutoCAD needs with ease. Now, the design of the XPS 159530 is nothing short of impressive. It features a unibody aluminum chassis, which not only adds to its durability, but also gives it a sleek and professional look. And if you think the premium materials end right there, well, the laptop also has a carbon fiber composite palm rest, which doesn't only look great, it also feels sturdy and should survive use and abuse for years to come. As for the ports, this has three USB-C ports, two of which support Thunderbolt 4, and it also has an SD card slot and a headphone jack, which is something that Dell has taken away from some of their laptops recently. Now, how does it feel to use the XPS 15? Well, this laptop comes with a low-profile keyboard that offers surprisingly tactile feedback. Plus, the large trackpad, besides being precise, is also one of the smoothest trackpads I've felt so far. One of the standout features of this laptop is the 15-inch 1200p 16x10 IPS display. Now, if you're not familiar with the 1200p resolution, it's just a bit more than 1080p. Furthermore, while the 16 by 10 aspect ratio might take some getting used to, it's absolutely amazing for productivity since it offers some extra vertical screen real estate. And before I forget, this display can go up to 500 nits of peak brightness, which means you can use this outdoors, perhaps to present your designs to clients and colleagues. To go with that great display, the XPS 15 is also equipped with excellent speakers. And you know what? It might be the best pair of speakers I've heard from a Windows laptop. Now with a huge 15-inch display and powerful internals, you would probably expect a poor battery life. But no, the XPS 15 won't disappoint you. It offers an impressive 8 to 12 hours of battery life, ensuring that you can stay productive on the go without constantly searching for an outlet, which works out well both for students and professionals. Before we sum things up, I just want to say that we have been talking about the base model XPS 15 up to this point, and there are higher-end XPS 15 configurations that are available in the market. Now, why do I recommend the base model when you can get one with a 3.5K OLED touchscreen and several RTX 40 series GPU options? All I can say about the higher-tier XPS 15s is that the OLED only peaks around 400 nits, which is not as bright as the IPS panel on the base display. And while a 40 series GPU sounds great, the XPS 15 just doesn't have the proper thermals to take full advantage of it. Overall, the higher end models are still great and some people might actually prefer it. But if you're looking for a laptop to use AutoCAD with, the base model is cheaper, has more battery life, and performs almost the same as the higher end models, at least when it comes to AutoCAD. So, do you prefer the base model XPS 15 or would you rather have the higher end versions? make sure to leave a comment, and the link for the laptop is in the description box below. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming tech videos just like this one. With that said, I'll see you in the next video.